Hi everybody, welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Tony Ventrella. King County Sheriff Patty Cole Tyndall is settling into her new role. She became the first person of color to lead the department when she was named sheriff in May. She says she has three main goals, improving transparency, changing morale in the department, recruiting new deputies, and retaining the officers already with the department. We had a chance to meet and speak with our new sheriff, Patty Cole Tyndall. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Last Appreciate time we it. spoke, you were interim sheriff. Yes, that's right. Uh, now you're sheriff. Yes, I am. Big difference? Well, you know, not really. I mean, the work is the same. Yeah. Um, I think the main difference is I am actually the sheriff now and uh, looking forward to planning what's going to happen over the next few years. Um, so that, to me, versus keeping the agency kind of intact and moving things forward on a short-term basis, now I need to look at it on a more long-term. And I know we were talking about staffing even uh, yes. before, right. and you're you're into it now, and, yes. and, and how's it going? Let me just ask well, you that. Well, uh, I appreciate the question. I mean, we have had well over 100 vacancies for a while now. Right. Usually we're running between 110 and 120 commission vacancies, that's for our police officers, and about 60 for our professional staff, right. so quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we've had uh, some luck, I mm -hmm. would say, but also uh, the great work of our recruiter and the extended team uh, in recruiting and getting some great candidates. In fact, our team just went to New Orleans last week and met with about 100 interested laterals I mean, these are people who are police officers elsewhere who are interested in looking at our agency. Yeah. And so far, we have 14 applications. Good. So I feel like that's a success. That's good. And Pretty anticipating more will be coming. What is what is um, involved in, in the recruiting process? You've got people who just do the recruiting. Yeah. So is it I mean, location, it's, that kind of thing? And it's, all. it's, you know, figuring out where to meet people where they are, answering questions for folks reaching out directly to people. We sometimes get referrals from people, so following up uh, to answer questions. Um, you know, we also meet with folks at our colleges. Sure. And just sure, sure. anywhere. At this point, we are looking for good candidates, whether they be laterals, those are people who are police officers elsewhere. Sure. Uh, they're more, uh, it takes a shorter period of time to get them up and running. Sure, sure. sure. Than our entries which have to attend the full academy, which is 19 weeks. But right now we're offering a $15,000 signing bonus to any lateral candidate. Okay. And okay. then in 7,500 for any entry level mm. deputy. Okay. And then a 5,000 referral bonus. Okay. Meaning right. if somebody refers someone, they get 5,000 and the executive just extended that 5,000 referral to any county employee. So even if they work in another county agency and they refer somebody to be a police officer, a corrections officer, or even a juvenile detention officer, they can earn $5,000 wow. per referral. So let's talk about entries for a minute. Sure. What, what is a common question that a person who's interested will ask you? Or a series well, of common questions. I think sometimes it has to do with schedule. Yeah. You know, do I have to work nights? Do I have to work weekends? I would say and yes. The short and yes, answer but... is yes. <laughs> With low seniority, those nights and weekends sure. do go to our uh, junior folks. Let's talk about community engagement because you're all about yes, that. Absolutely. And uh, what types of things are you doing in the community to to familiarize yourself and have people be more familiar with you and your department? So one thing that was really, really important to me is, you know, when I was considering applying for this job is how would the King County Sheriff's Office engage with the community and basically expand what we have been doing. And in some of the uh, organizations I had been meeting with early on, it really struck me that we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to be integral in the community, uh, much like our partners at SPD are, have done successfully, but we haven't really done that. So how would we go about meeting with community groups? How would we interface with them? What kind of partnerships could we create? 
So one thing I've done is I've uh, worked with the executive and we are establishing a new division, yeah. which is called Community Programs and Services Good. Division, which will be specific to dealing with community groups uh, in, the, in the county to interface with the King County Sheriff's Office and to partner. And that division will also uh, have their equity social justice emphasis as part of that too. We'll have our media relations, our recruiter, uh, our communications team. So it's a new division. Yeah. It will be stood up the beginning of the year, 1st of January. And I'm also standing up a uh, second division, which is not really new. We used to have special operations, but now we will have it again. It has our more, I call them high risk things, our air support, our marine unit, yes. our uh, crisis negotiation team, our BOB unit. Um, so canines, you know, we'll, we'll have all of that. Our SWAT team, um, and it also include our transit division. So properly structuring the agency to me was important so that we can serve the community better. But in terms of some of the things we have been doing with communities, we have co-responder models, yeah, right? Good. And those have been successful wildly up north. Yeah. So how do we expand those across the county? Because we know South End has the same need. And uh, Burien, which is uh, policed by our deputies, right. has developed a similar co-responder model. And we are looking to expand co-responder to our unincorporated areas. So uh, Executive is, has uh, committed to funding us so that we can expand some of that work and work with the community. Because we know sending somebody in a uniform with a gun and a badge may not be the right person right. to respond, but we need to partner. We need to respond together. And whether it's the mental health person who takes the lead with a person in crisis, but we need to make sure they're safe before they do that. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity to expand our co-responder programs and just looking forward to what that'll bring. Well, that's that's excellent. I've got, I've got one more question because sure. when we talk about crime prevention yeah and that's where it starts with the boys and girls clubs yes. with the big brother programs and those are groups that you're among the groups that you're talking about and not necessarily partnering with but just getting to know well I think those are more. those are good groups because you're right it does start in the schools and with the children and, and those groups but I'm talking about groups such as community passageways okay. let me tell you about them or even weld I'll tell you about both those groups community passageways is a group that what they do is these are people who have lived experience right they've been offenders they've been in the system but they help to be uh, violence interrupters yes. or disruptors however you want to sure. phrase it sure, sure. so partnering with them so that we can reduce some of this gun violence and this this violence that is occurring and then weld which is an organization that that is basically staffed with previously incarcerated folks that help those coming out of the system oh, yeah, to yeah. be successful. So I think these are important partnerships for us that we have traditionally not been part of. But as you mentioned, the Boys and Girls Club, I met with a group of Girl Scouts not too yeah. long ago. I mean, so I'm all about meeting with the children and impacting them too. Excellent. Well, it, it just seems like you've uh, you obviously you've gone full force into yes. this. Uh, with uh, just so many great new ideas, so much energy, and uh, for me, it's exciting to talk to you again. I hope we can continue this conversation Absolutely. down through the months and, and yes. years. Uh, Sheriff yes. Patty Cole Tindall, thank you so much for being part of Community Conversations. Thank you as well. I'm Tony Ventrella, and we will see you next time.